Welcome back sa ating channel. Naging mainit nga na usapin di umano sa mundo ng social media ang pagsasalita na nga ni PNP Chief Ildasar. Dito nga natin makikita na tila malalaki nga talaga ang sangkot sa mga pulburon na ito. Tila makikita natin ang napakagaling na plano nila dahil tinatapon nila sa tubig ang mga pulburon at kukunin naman ito ng mga sangkot na mga fisherman at isasakay sa kanilang bangka. Bistado na nga ang kanilang taktika sa pagkukuha at pag-import ng mga pulburon na ito. Tila makikita natin na alam na ng batas natin ang ginagawang ito ngunit tila hindi sila makapag-aksyon dahil takot sila sa matataas na opisyales. Ang malaking katanungan pa ng maraming netizen, ano? ang ginagawa ng administrasyon na ito at hindi mapigilan ang mga ganitong klaseng ginagawa ng matataas na opisyales. Ngunit makikita kasi natin sa naging kataga ng ating Pangulo na hindi siya mikikialam sa problema ng ating mga kapulisan dahil problema nga raw nila ito. Banat naman ng maraming netizen sa sinabi ng ating Pangulo ano pa ang silbi ng pagkapangulo mo kung hindi mo rin kaya silang kontrolin at hindi ka makikialam sa problema ng bansang Pilipinas? Ito ang napakainit na banat ng maraming netizen sa administrasyon na ito. Sabi pa nila, tama na ang pangungulimbat ng pera ng taong bayan at gawin ninyo ang inyong trabaho bilang pangulo, bilang opisyales ng ating bansang Pilipinas. Wal mga kababayan, para nga sa karagdagang impormasyon, panoorin nga natin ang buong video. At kung bago ka pa lamang sa aking channel, huwag kalimutan i-click ang subscribe button at notification bell para lagi kang updated sa ating mga bagong video. At para sa sulit viewers natin dyan, maraming maraming salamat sa walang sawang pagsuporta. Yung security, the preparations to do this uh, destruction. Like for example, here in, in Pidea for us in Quezon City, the present facility that we are uh, using is a facility in Quezon City, uh, Cavite. So, medyo, we also prepare for uh, the security of the transport until the uh, final destruction of the drugs. So ito, ito sa yung mga several factors that contribute to the delay in the destruction of the drugs. Even if we are supposed to destroy the drugs within 24 hours from the order of the court that it can already be destroyed. Um, I do not, I have not read the uh, exact uh, I have a provision uh, uh, implementing uh, Section 21, Paragraph uh, 4. May attorney kang kasama dyan, and this is your line, jurisdiction. Ano po ba ang sinasabi ng Juan? Uh, does it specifically require a court order for you to uh, destroy the legal drug cease? Mr. Chair? Mr. Chair? Mr. Vice Chair? My understanding the building the boundary drugs law in uh, section 21, paragraph 2. Let, and let me read, Mr. Chair. Within 24 hours upon confiscation or seizure of dangerous drugs, or planned service of dangerous drugs, controlled precursors and essential chemicals, as well as instruments of familiar and or laboratory equipment, the same shall be submitted to Dr. Bayer Forensic Laboratory for a qualitative and quantitative examination. So, what's the name of quantitative? Yeah, I'm So, that the term we need to do is the I or the I. Because quantitative examination. So, we need to do the term of the I. Yung mga yung isang yung yung kilo na sa inyo na ayun yung kilo na dito sa amin. It says you very clear. And then, in section in uh, paragraph 3, in certification of the forensic laboratory examination results, which shall be done under oath by the forensic laboratory examiner, shall be issued within 24 hours after the receipt of the subject items. 
question four. And then, the other half of that the formula should be certification shall be issued on the completed forensic laboratory examination on the same within the next 24 hours. And then, and, 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 and uh, paragraph four, after filing of the criminal case, the court shall within after after the filing of the criminal case. Okay. 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 Doesn't happen before filing of criminal case. Where is the nothing evidence? Nothing in there. So the question is, how come we may even subpoena as yeah, an MBI? That is what is not in the 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 MBI and then say subpoena. Why is may even then? The position is within the criteria. Am I correct? So where in the, may I ask if I may, uh, with the indulgence of uh, Congressman Gomez, uh, where in that particular section says that there was the court able to destroy the ating ano, evidence? Where mo dyan? Well, once a plantation is discovered, mm -hmm. okay, uh, I, I just like what I said earlier, so do you know, I have not been masolved with the destruction of evidence. Maybe we can propose uh, something that would uh, allow you to be a MPLP to destroy legitimately. Evidence after the authentication and forensic uh, examination is done. Right? It was seized. Uh, the the time it's something. It's been after the all the uh, the requirements are complied. Uh, by by uh, or the PMP. Hmm. Yes, Mr. Yes, in section four, as I said before, after the filing of the criminal case, the court shall within seventy-two hours conduct an inspection of the confiscated, seized, or surrendered dangerous drugs, plant forces, and etc. No, the hmm. PDA shall within twenty-four hours thereafter proceed with the destruction. Or burning of the same. So the next problem will happen. Senate will need to attend the attorney. Attorney, attorney. Uh, Aquino. Well, I have burning equipment. No, I'm still not sure. It is already March. I mean, my own Canadian family. I suggest, Mr. Chair, that uh, they prepare part of their budget for the purchase of an incinerator. Because mm -hmm. you know, you can burn it. And the more than dangerous, you can clean it up. It's a lesson in this lesson. You can you can find a burning equipment or an incinerator in a smoke place. Because I think an incinerator is a clean it up. It's not going to be some type of this smoke. And then I'll let you engineering uh, uh, engineer equipment, then we're going to produce some smoke. So please include, uh, please include my budget that we will take up yeah. in the budget hearing. No machine that will, that will destroy all the evidence and a backup machine just in case machine. Right? Okay. 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 Thank you, Congressman Gomez. Congressman Ako. If you read the section 21, paragraph D, well, I'm mention of an order. And I think you only added that in your interpretation of the RRR explaining paragraph D. Because I have here uh, reading the uh, uh, section C of your. Uh, Guidelines on the implementation of Section 21 of Republic Act Number 165, as amended by Republic Act Number 10640. Yes, 
Tapi orang tu dah lebih ke usaha, eksperimenasi, melihat saya lah. Tapi tu pun ada proses. Tapi orang tu mesti masih ada dalam section twenty one paragraph form for order. Bila? Bes. Memang maksud tu yang yang jawab tujuh puluh kawan. Implementasi nomor paragraf di section twenty one. Okay. Um, um, just to answer now, sir. Um, kasi po, um, thinking now yung ating legal process is that once the evidence is submitted to the court, it's under the custodial levies. So we, we, just to be safe, so we, uh, we ask the court for a court order since technically the evidence, once submitted to them, is already in their custody. Pero pwede naman... Uh, kasi if I, I, if I follow your uh, procedure in filing of complaint in destruction of confiscated or seized items, very tedious. You know, the guidelines. So, must be never happen in you. If we follow the law, what do you think you have to say? What do you think you have to say? Because if you have to the court to do so, I believe. I'm very lucky to do so in the section 21 paragraph D. Not that I'm not familiar with my guidelines. Are you on guidelines that you want in your own? Then you're up and in your use are really in you. Now, you're building really fast now. There are 700 kilos of illegal drugs in your evidence. You're PNP 1.5 pounds. Kaya nga siguro uh, hindi ko rin alam kung iniandun ko rin yan every month kung kama pa rin yung volume na nandun. Diba? Really? Kaya po ka po to inventory the evidence in your evidence uh, rooms? Parang kaya mo kung nandun pa rin ang numero ng iniandun na nandun? Your Honor, so uh, today uh, we do a physical inventory of uh, the confiscated drugs in our possession once every year. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, uh, the Prime Minister's group is regularly uh, conducting inventory, sir. On the CC evidences. And what is regular with the PNP once in two years? I will confirm it, sir, with uh, our uh, director uh, forensics. I see your PDA once a year. Eh? Are you regular basis? And what is your regular basis? I will uh, check it, sir, with our uh, director forensics group. Oh, thank, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Marco. Mr. Chair. So, yes, Congressman. Yes, uh, in relation to the question of Congressman Akop, although it appears that uh, the provision on issuance of order for the destruction of illegal drugs is not in RA 9165, I just want to invite the attention of the committee that there's an existing OCA circular number 118-2020. 118-2020. And it makes mention of giving directive to the judges if the confiscated drugs is five kilograms or more to give priority to drug cases, conduct ocular inspection within 72 hours from the filing of the information in court, then issue the order of destruction within 24 hours from the conduct of the ocular inspection after retaining the required representative sample. So although it does not appear in 9165, it appears in the ruling of the Office of the Court Administrator that there is such a system that requires for the order of the court for destruction of illegal drugs. I, need, I think we need to clarify this with the Supreme Court because of course the the rules and regulations should not go beyond the substantive law. Our substantive law is the Republic Act 9165. Thank you, Mr. Chair. 
Yeah, um, I agree with the Congresswoman Luis Tro. I guess uh, the PNP and all other law enforcement agencies that are uh, uh, in the campaign against illegal drugs must uh, get a clarification from the Supreme Court or perhaps even an exemption completely. In cases where drugs are confiscated in this destruction of the evidence, baka pwede kayong, uh, you can make representations to the court no? as to the immediate uh, destruction of uh, the evidence after completion of all the uh, uh, documentary requirements. So, kasi nga, bakit yung mga marinak na plantation? Diba? Sinusunod niya. Diba? There are a lot of, uh, ano, ano, uh, ano, Ah, so iba yung provision sa marijuana at saka iba yung sa sa destruction. Okay. Uh, yeah, but mm. so, please use your microphones. Yes, Mr. Chair, kasi uh, according to Luis uh, Exavedra, eradication ba yung sunod dun sa, sa mga plantation ng marijuana. So, eradication can be applied also for methamphetamine. Destruct for methamphetamine, sir, destruction. Talaga. Anong defense sa uh, use of ng destruction at saka ng... This is a lunch, eh? so you can have lunch when we're... We're, we're having this meeting. We're, we're accepting uh, on the session. Uh, and uh, Mr. Mr. Chair, uh, since we have not been talking about who is the monitor of our activities, and how do we apply the rules of our activities? Mr. Chair, when will be possible, Mr. Chair, for for our committee to the um, with an oversight, uh, an oversight committee, and then isama natin yung uh, mga agencies in the said law, in the RA 9165, section, uh, I'm not mistaken, section 94, 95, now, there is a, an oversight committee that is a joint oversight committee by the Senate and the House. No? In fact, we just uh, passed last month no, on third and final reading our proposed uh, uh, extension. Kasi ang life na na every 10 years. Eh. So we just uh, approved it here. Uh, we're still waiting for the action of the Senate on this oversight. And in this oversight, uh, we can uh, assist the law enforcement agencies in the uh, policies uh, that the, the Dangerous Drugs Board will uh, finalize. So uh, last, uh, in the last 10 years, there were already proposals being sent by the committee, the Oversight Committee, as far as the, the policy of the Dangerous Drugs Board is concerned on the supply reduction and demand reduction strategies. So well, uh, if the committee, oversight committee will again be revived, no? then we can again sit down uh, with the law enforcement agencies, including the DDB, and come up with a, a proposal as to how to address ito mga latest issues ngayon, yes. uh, including dun sa destruction. Maybe in this oversight committee, we can recommend that uh, we can make representations uh, to the Supreme Court as to how and how fast can we destroy the evidence so that uh, it will not be uh, in their possession for a longer period of time. So kasama yun, uh, as soon as the Senate approves the joint resolution, then the Speaker will call for a meeting so that he can appoint members of the oversight. Mr. Chair, I wish to invite also the committee of the of our pending bill. Right. 
Uh, yes. And the immediate destruction of uh, confiscated illegal drugs referred to PWG. That's right. Uh, to be chaired by Kong Richard Gomez. And I think this is the best opportunity for us yeah. to address the challenges under the present provisions of Section 21 of RA 9165. Yes. If possible, Mr. Chair, the idea of pain really is to have a continuing process, never ending process, and to, from, from the confiscation to the destruction. Yeah. In fact, our proposal in the PWG is to change it to immediately, if I'm not mistaken, because that was what was being discussed in the PWG. Uh, I'm referring to the destruction of the evidence. Uh, but it seems that uh, Pinoya and uh, the other law enforcement agencies have. Uh, a different uh, opinion on this, but we will, we will, we will uh, again discuss this when uh, the PWG comes up with a committee report to the other committee before we even approve a substitute bill to this effect. So, so don't worry, we will listen to your, uh, your objections or your opinions uh, on this particular uh, bill. So, again, let me invite, uh, let me ask, uh, sorry. Um, there was a newspaper report. This was uh, in Manila, uh, in Sunstar, Manila, October 25 of 2022. Uh, when uh, the police, uh, a PDF chief, Regional General Narciso Domingo, said that in the CCTV footage, a man a man, which is part of the, of the raiding team, was seen loading two bags of illegal drugs inside a unmarked vehicle. So, ako tanong lang, ayun pa ay SOP o policy ng raiding team? No less than the head of the PIDEG no? was the one who made yeah. this uh, uh, submission. Well, mga kababayan, eto nga ang nakakalungkot ngayon sa ating bansa na tila pag meron kang pera, mabibili mo ang gusto mo, lalo na ang batas ng Pilipinas. Kaya naman hindi natatakot ang mga smuggler, mga sindikato na gumawa ng mga ganitong klasing gawain dahil alam nila na tila wala nga raw bayag ang namumuno sa atin ngayon at tila na babayaran ang mga opisyales na nanakaupo sa matataas na opisyales kaya okay lang na mahuli sila dahil makakalabas din sila agad dahil sa mga protektor na ito. Well mga kababayan, kung kayo ang tatanungin, ano ang dapat natin gawin sa mga pulpolitiko na ito at mga protektor ng mga pulburon at Mary Jane. Just comment below sa ating comment section at ating pag-uusapan.